this video, I'll go through some example ACT problems that involve averages. So how do you find the average? Simply you take the summation of the x values divided by n. And what does that mean? Basically just add up all the numbers you have in your data set and divide by how many numbers there are. That's how you find the average. So all the problems we see are going to use this basic formula. Somehow we need to find the unknown and we're going to replace the unknown with the x and solve for x. So here it says the average weight of five boys is 75.2 pounds. If the oldest boy is excluded, the average weight of the four remaining boys is 77. What is the weight in pounds of the oldest boy? All right, so again, we want to use our formula, the summation of the x values divided by n. All right, so we originally start out with an average of 75.2. So you multiply 5 times 75.2. That'll be our original summation of the x values. That's going to be 376. And what's the unknown? The unknown is the weight of the, the older boy. So if we have 376, the total, the new total, will be that minus the weight of the older boy. And now we only have 4 to divide by because only 4 values. And that average came out to 77. Okay, so we set up an equation here, 376 minus x. Divide by 4 equals 77. Now we can solve for x. So I can multiply both sides by 4. And cancel out the 4 here. Give me 376 minus x. Equal to 308. And I could add x to both sides just to make it positive on this side. So 376 and I'll subtract 308 from both sides. Let's do it in one step. 376 minus 308 will equal x. And that comes out to 68. So the weight of the oldest boy is 68 pounds. This one says the average or arithmetic mean of the numbers in a list is 30. When the number 22 is added to the list, the average of the numbers in a list becomes 28. How many numbers were there in the original list? So again, we look at our summation of the x values divided by n. So our unknown is how many were in the original list. So we're going to call that x. So if there was an average of 30, the total on top would be 30x. So 30 times how many numbers were in the list. Now I'm going to add the number 22 to it. Okay, and now how many do we have? We had originally x and we added one more. So it's going to be a total of x plus 1. And after adding the 22 to the list, the average became 28. Okay, so that's our formula. 30x plus 22 divided by x plus 1 equals 28. So I can multiply both sides by x plus 1. Okay, so I'm going to cancel out here. 30x plus 22. And I can, I can distribute the 28. So I guess 28x plus 28. And let's subtract 28x from both sides. This mean with 2x plus 22 equals 28. And can subtract 22 from both sides. So 2x equals 6, then divide both sides by 2, and x is equal to 
three. So there was three numbers in the original list. All right, so this one says Kendra has an average score of exactly X points on four equally weighted tests. How many points higher than X was Kendra score in the fifth equally weighted test to raise her score after the fifth test to X plus three points? So again, we use our basic formula. So if we get X points on each of the four tests, the total will be four X, four times X. Now we're gonna add another test. Let's call it another variable, Y. And then we're gonna end up with five tests altogether. And we want that average to be X plus three, X plus three. All right, so we set up a formula of four X plus Y divided by five is equal to X plus three. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by five. That gives me four X plus Y. And I'm going to distribute to five. So five times X is five X and five times three is 15. So now we have four X plus Y equals five X plus 15. I want to get the X's to the same side. So I'm going to subtract four X from both sides. So Y is equal to X plus 15. All right, so Y was the, the fifth test so we need to score basically 15 more points than our average, which was X. So our answer is X plus 15. So our answer is we need to score 15 points higher than X. This one reads, suppose that a student's grade is determined solely by the student's score on eight tests, which are 100 points each. If the student has an average of exactly 88 points on the first six tests, how many points must he average in the last two tests to earn exactly a 90 point average for the course grade? So again, we're gonna basically base it off our average formula. So if there is an average of 88 points on the first six tests, that's gonna be 88 times six. We have two more tests. So we're gonna do two times X. So that's gonna be the average of the two tests. And we're gonna divide it by, we have a total of eight tests. We want the average to be 90. So we're gonna multiply both sides by eight. So 88 times six is 528. Okay, plus 2x equals 720. I can subtract 528 from both sides. That leaves me 2x equal to 192. And divide both sides by 2. x equals 96. So they need to average 96 points in the last two tests in order to get a 90 for the class. So this one says, so far this basketball season, Stefan has made 20 of his first 45 three-point shots, giving him an average of 44.4%. What is the minimum number of three-point shots he needs to make from now on in order to have a three point average of at least 50%. So again, we're basing it off our summation of X divided by N. So, so far they have 20 made out of 45. So that's 20 over 45. Now he needs to make, you know, so many threes in a row to bring his average up to 50%. So X is gonna be how many they attempted and how many that he makes. He's gonna end up making all of them in a row. 
and that will bring up his average to 0 0.5, which is going to be the 50%. So the 50% divided by 100 gives you the 0 0.5. So again, I'm going to multiply 45 plus x on both sides. Then give me 20 plus x. And then 0.5 times 45 is 22.5. And 0.5 times x is 0.5x. All right, so my goal is to get the x's on the same side, so I'm going to subtract 0.5x from both sides. And I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. I'm just going to do it in one step. So 1x minus 0.5x is 0.5x. 22.5 .5 minus 20 gives you 2.5. And then divide both sides by 0 0.5. And x is equal to 5. So he needs to make five three-point shots in a row in order to bring his average up to 50% or 0 0.5. So for all these questions, we've got to come up with our equation. We're basing it off the summation of x. And we're going to replace our unknown with a variable x and solve for it. So I hope this video cleared up how to solve problems on ACT that involve averages. Mm -hmm.